Hello and welcome to the Tuesday, January 2nd, 2024 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Over the holiday week, we had a couple of interesting uh, diaries, so let me just uh, quickly uh, summarize them. First of all, Xavier looked at more Python scripts with actually a user interface. And one interesting script Xavier came across was a little bounce ball game, as it calls itself. It's sort of one of those uh, arcade uh, game uh, remakes, but well, it's actually much more than a game uh, while you're playing the game and the game appears to be fully functional, you are also exfiltrating data from your system. The main goal here appears to be exfiltration of Discord credentials, and yes, they are being exfiltrated to Discord itself. And Xavier also came across another Python script that used mailtrap.io in order to exfiltrate data. Mailtrap.io is a service that uh, well allows you to send emails, but also to receive email in particular for debug purposes. That part of the service is free and offers an SMTP server on port 2525 instead of just 25, which of course can be used to bypass some firewalls. Always important to block outbound emails, no matter what port is being used, they should be going through your authorized mail relay. Then we got uh, two more uh, diaries, one uh, guest diary by one of our sans.edu interns, uh, Elias Bousset, and this sort of gives a pretty good overview of where the Mirai botnet stands right now. Finally, also, Tom is writing about how to set up PyHole as a Docker deployment. And in more serious news, we do have an actively exploited zero-day vulnerability in Barracuda's email security gateway appliance, ESG. Barracuda has published an advisory on Christmas Eve on December 24th. The underlying issue here is a vulnerability in a Perl library, Spreadsheet Parse Excel. Barracuda does use that library in order to parse Excel attachments and check if they are malicious, but sadly, the vulnerability here is in the library itself. So in parsing these Excel documents, arbitrary code can be executed on the Barracuda appliance. And this vulnerability, again, is already being exploited. There are two CVEs to track here, CVE 2023-7101. This is a vulnerability that's assigned to the library. And then CVE 2023-7102. This is a CVE number that's being assigned to the use of that library with a Barracuda. So the library itself was up to date. It's a current issue in that library. Apparently, there is no fix yet from the maintainers of that library. Barracuda has released an update for its appliances on December 21st, but that's after the exploit activity had already been observed by Barracuda. So a couple of things you need to do here. If you are running Barracuda, then double check that the security update was applied and also that the appliance is not already compromised. Barracuda, as part of the advisory, did release some indicators of compromise. Secondly, if you're not running Barracuda, then double check if you're using spreadsheet parse Excel somewhere. Now these days, not a lot of Perl code is sort of being used in the sense it's not being newly created, but uh, there are tons of in particular security appliances like Barracuda that use Lexi code that hasn't been maintained in years. They still charge you maintenance fees, but uh, all they do is basically after the fact release updates uh, like this. The nature of the vulnerability is also known now. Uh, there is a patch publicly available, actually just as a to-do. It's a simple eval command. It's being uh, called that receives uh, user input in this case. So yes, you'll likely see more exploits for this uh, in the near future. 
And Sonic Wall is reporting about an exploit against another uh, Saturday vulnerability, and this one is an Apache OF BIS. Uh, this is an enterprise resource planning uh, tool that's uh, published and maintained by Apache. It suffered from an authentication bypass vulnerability, CVE 2023-49070. But apparently, uh, that was never fully patched, just some functionality was removed. The actual authentication bypass was not fixed, which led now to the new vulnerability that's uh, currently being exploited. Exploitation is again rather simple. Uh, Sonic Wall has all the details about the exploit in its uh, blog. If you're not familiar uh, with OF BIS, the one reason why you may want to be concerned about it is it's actually a component of Atlassian's Jira. So if you're using Jira, in particular, if you have the on-premise version, uh, then you are probably affected by this vulnerability. Well, and this is it for today. Thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.